You are watching the Indy 500 Diecast Racing Tournament. These are your hosts, EP and Elise from EP Videos. Well, it's a beautiful day here at Pikes Peak, and we have six drivers prepping for the next round of racing for our tournament. That's right, EP. Our lineup for drivers for today is Mark Pan, Papa Pugsley, Crazy Canuck, Arlo, Numskull, and our tournament leader, Sneaky Bob. This tournament is brought to you by Righteous Felon Craft Jerky. They're helping keep the lights on here at EP Videos, so show your support for the channel and give them a try. Use promo code EP Videos for 15% off your next order. Getting started with lab number one, sitting in our pole position is Numskull, driving for Numskull Racing, and to his right is Mark Bain. And they're off. Drivers make their way down the mountain. Numskull pushing his way to the front. Oh, oh no! Oh, Numskull gosh. goes down. Looks like he took out a spectator. That wasn't a spectator. That was one of our local snowboarders. Well, it really is. It's hard to follow the racing after a crash like that, but Arlo continues to hold the lead with a nice pass on Papa Pugsley. And Arlo takes first place. Oh, wow, this is one of the worst crashes I've ever seen in diecast racing history. Well, Elise, let's not forget one. Oh yeah, that's right. Race, Race in, in peace, peace McLeod. This is a painful replay to watch. Uh, excuse me, Num's goal. Diecast 101, stay in your own lane. He hits the light post, spins a 720, and then takes out one of our local snowboarders who appears to have pulled a quad corked 10,000. Wow, if this were the X Games, he would have gotten a gold medal. Oh, come on, Elise. That's pretty insensitive. Hey, Pete, I'm just saying. Well, I guess while we wait for the status of Numskull and our snowboarder, we can discuss some of the highlights from this race. Arlo made an incredibly clean pass on Papa Pugsley. Meanwhile, Sneaky Bob was fending off the Crazy Canuck and lost in the battle as they came through the turn. Crazy Canuck took over Sneaky Bob's position. Now emergency crews were dispatched. They're getting to Numskull now. As far as the snowboarder goes, he actually wiped out right in front of our rescue chopper. So they're already administering first aid. So after lap number one, our leader for this group is Arlo with six points. This is Charles reporting live here at the top of Pikes Peak Ski Resort. Fortunately, driver Numskull suffered only minor injuries, despite having one of the worst crashes in diecast history. However, our snowboarder Jerry White had a bit of a cheeky incident with a broken caucus. It was a bumpy ride here today. Let's just hope this doesn't dampen the spirits of the other drivers. Well, let's hope not, Charles. Thanks for the update. Moving into round number two, sitting in the pole position is Papa Pugsley, driving for Manchild Motorsports, and to his right is the recovering Numskull. Drivers moving down the mountain. Numskull already out to an early lead, but can he hold it? Papa Pugsley challenging on the inside, into the merge, and Numskull takes first place, sending Papa Pugsley in reverse. Oh, we got a mess of cars on the track. Everyone's moving very slow. Numskull still holding the lead in reverse. Papa Pugsley behind him and Arlo. Well, surprise, surprise. First place goes to Numskull. What a recovery by Numskull after that nasty crash in lap number one. And we were missing a driver. That was Mark Pan. Let's see what happens in the replay. Well, coming out of that tunnel, Mark Pan just flips it in reverse, but that's no reason to get a DNF. It may be too soon to tell, but take a look at these other drivers. They are slipping, sliding, beating and banging. Somebody must have spilled some oil on the track today. Well, your guess is as good as mine, but normally these drivers are locked in, burning through the track. Oh, and there you have it. There's that DNF from Mark Pan. And that's a great reminder from our sponsor. Real men do eat beef, so if you're feeling low in the tank, Mark Pan, maybe you should put in in order for some righteous felon craft jerky. Well, as we move into round number three, sitting in the pole position is Arlo, driving for Arlo Racing, and to his right is Papa Pugsley. Drivers make their way down the mountain. Arlo already quickly moving out into the front. Papa Pugsley trying to keep pace, but he continues to fall behind, dropping two positions in the group, and Mark Pan is nowhere to be found. Well, did I call it or did I call it? Mark Pan did not use high octane today. Or expired graphite. Whoa, and did you see that? Crazy Canuck was right behind Arlo and something happened coming out of that turn. Well, after lap number three, Arlo takes first place for Arlo's Racing. And after taking a look at those points, Arlo is still our group leader with a total of 16 points. But I am very curious what happens to the Crazy Canuck as he was on Arlo's tail the entire time 
time, even challenging for that first place position. <laughs> I'm just as curious as you are, EP. And I am so grateful that we have the Skycam. It gives us a wide field of view so that we can see all the drivers no matter where they are on the track. Absolutely. And here's our Skycam shot. Crazy Canuck hits a tree, almost coming off the track and causing issues for the other drivers. I think Sneaky Bob saved the day for Crazy Canuck. Well, I hope these drivers are wearing their seatbelts because this is one crazy group. Well, I'd have to blame the Canadian for that. The real Crazy Canuck sitting in the pole position for lap number four, driving for White Knuckle Racing. And to his right is Arlo. As the drivers move down the track, Arlo is already out to an early lead. Can Crazy Canuck catch him? Neck and neck in the tunnel, into the merge, and Crazy Canuck gets pushed out by Arlo, causing some trouble for the other drivers. Well, Arlo's not just causing trouble in this lap, but he's already claimed two first place wins. Let's see if he can do it again. Arlo continues to lead the pack down to the finish, uncontested, and Arlo takes first place for Arlo Racing. Well, taking a look at those scores, Arlo is dominating the competition with 22 points points. Behind him, Papa Pugsley with 16, followed closely by the Crazy Canuck. Well, taking a look back on this replay, Arlo did a great job getting his neck out in front of Crazy Canuck at the merge, which caused Crazy to have a long drift, costing him time and speed, which also affected the other drivers. Well, currently, Sneaky Bob is still our tournament leader, having the most accumulated points in this tournament. But after all 12 drivers have raced again, I am so curious to find out where Arlo is going to land in this group. Well, let's see if Bob can hold on to that tournament position. Kicking off lap number five, he will be sitting in the pole position, driving for Vapor Racing, and to his right is the Crazy Canuck. Drivers making their way down the mountain. Crazy Canuck and Arlo holding a lead in front of Sneaky Bob. Into the tunnel, into the merge. Oh, and Arlo just gets stiffed by Sneaky Bob. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not again. This could be a quad DNF. I am not sure, but currently holding the lead is Crazy Canuck, followed by Sneaky Bob. Well, this is unbelievable. Well, don't give up hope too soon, Elise. Oh, and there it is. Arlo makes a recovery. Oh, wow. And look at that, EP. Three more drivers to finish the race. What a tough group. We definitely have a group of warriors on the track today. Taking a look back on that replay, Sneaky Bob shoves Arlo into that tunnel support, and somehow Arlo manages to survive and finish very strong. The other three drivers, not so much, even though they finished. They were limping along through the turns. I was surprised that they were able to finish. Well, that's why this example makes Pikes Peak distinctly unique. If you have a little bit of gas left in the tank, you can still finish the race, even if it's in last place. Oh, that is so true, Elise. Well, as we move into the last and final lap, lap six, sitting in the pole position is Mark Pan, driving for Grumpy Cloud Racing, and to his right is Sneaky Bob. Mark Pan is desperate for points. He needs a win. Let's see if he can hold his pole position through the turns. Sneaky Bob continuing to hold the lead. Into the merge, Sneaky Bob takes first. Behind him, Crazy Canuck putting Mark Pan in third place. Whoa, and the last three drivers really struggling. There must still be some oil spills on the track. Well, somebody better call dispatch for a cleanup on aisle five. And coming in first place is Sneaky Bob driving for Vapor Racing. And take a look at those scores. Arlo takes the win for this group with 29 points for Arlo Racing. Well, let's not forget to remind our viewers that it's not about who wins this group, but it's who collects the most points throughout this entire tournament. Yes, that's a great reminder, Elise. Thank you. If this is your first time watching, we are actually in group number three, and these drivers have already collected points throughout this tournament. Our current leader is Sneaky Bob. However, that could change after we take a look at these totals. Of course, we want to remind Remind all of our drivers that if you were a group leader, that's going to earn you some extra points in the finals. Oh, wow. Look at that. Sneaky Bob leading by one point. Arlo right behind him. I think this is stacking up to be an incredible tournament. Oh, the anticipation is just killing me. Now, if you want to show your support for the channel, check out Righteous Fell and Craft Jerky. Do you want to be a strong, beefy man? Well, you know what they say. You are what you eat. Use promo code EPVideos for 15% off your next order.